Okay, the Booker Prize has announced its long list of 13 books, and I'm just going to give you a quick reaction to it. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with this. I will be reviewing all 13, or maybe not quite all 13 of these books, depending on something I'll discuss in a moment. Now, if you are coming in here to hear the long list, this is what it is. It is Wandering Souls by Tommy Orange, Wild Houses by Colin Barrett, Held by Anne Michael. Creation Lake by Rachel Kushner, This Strange Eventful History by Claire Mersoud, Playground by Richard Powers, Enlightenment by Sarah Perry, Orbital by Samantha Harvey, James by Percival Everett, The Safe Keep by Yale van der Woden, My Friends by Hisham Matar, Stoneyard Devotional by Charlotte Wood, and Headshot by Rita Bullwinkle. Okay, so let's just quickly go through these books one at a time, and I'll give you a reaction to these books individually. Um, I, I was at, so I was going to give you a live reaction, but unfortunately my computer that I film on uh, crashed mid-film, so uh, this is why it's somewhat stilted. Uh, Wandering Souls is that thing that we all love on the Booker long list, and that is a sequel, or in this case it is a sequel and a prequel. Um, yeah, it's... It's a good book. I, I do think you need to read There There first. It's about indigenous history and gun violence and the history of America and it sort of links all these things together in a really clever and intelligent way. Um, the other thing that we absolutely love, even more than sequels, are books on the long list that aren't going to be released until after the shortlist is announced. Richard Powers. Oh, I mean, this book sounds good. Powers has this weird way of combining nature writing with science fiction in this weird literary fiction-esque style, which uh, is different in each book and quite experimental sometimes and quite beautiful other times. And sometimes he really works for me and sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes uh, I really don't like the overstory, for example. Um, but... You know, it's a book that I was excited to read, but I just think that this is the Booker Prize smacking itself in the face and everybody around it with a giant plank of wood. Booker Prize, we want to read these books. We want to read these books so we can form our own opinion on them and get outraged by the judges or agree with the judges. We don't really care which one. We just want to support the books and, and get involved. And by having a book that is so not accessible to us on the long list, it really just is a big fuck you to all of us bookish fans out there. And it just boils my piss that you're so fucking stupid, honestly. And inconsiderate. I'm still excited to read this. But sort your shit out, Booker Prize. Arta. Wild Houses by Colin Barrett is a sort of an Irish crime novel. I'm looking forward to getting into that. We know with these Irish crime novels that sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're just entertaining fluff and sometimes they're in between so even if it is the worst of those three options entertaining fluff at least i'll be entertained uh so i think that's a sort of a, a free hit so to speak um held by ann michaels is a book that absolutely bored me to tears um just too reflective and horrible and uh i know other people love that book and i just uh, it's just not for, not for me creation lake sounds weird it sounds like a laugh it sounds really intellectual it's about a spy who's working for the u.s government that has to go to france to deal with a communist cult sort of thing that is studying neanderthals it it just sounds a bit um idiotic and really awesome and intelligent at the same time it, but it's one of those books that either it's gonna get it really right or it's gonna stuff it up uh this strange eventful history is one that i think a lot of people thought would get in because yi yin ling because yi yin li uh gave it a great review uh I, i've not read it but i'm really looking for multi-generational saga dealing with algeria and vietnam and australia and Brazil and America and a family and um, there, there does seem to be quite a bit of hype about this book. Enlightenment by Sarah Perry who is of course famous for the Essex Serpent. I've never read her and this is the book that um, is this is a complete surprise for me. It wasn't um, on my radar at all. Probably should have been but um, I 
I'm not prepared to comment on this one. I hate to say it. This is one I'm kind of looking forward to because I know nothing about it. And that's always a lovely position to go into a book with. Orbital uh, by Samantha Harvey. This is the one where we're going around the planet for with uh, eight or 12 astronauts or something. And everything's quite reflective. It actually sounds like a book... I think it's quite similar sounding to Headshot, which is about eight women athletes who are boxing athletes, and it's very reflective on their life and their character building. But I've read Headshot. I think it's a good book. I've not read all, but also I can't comment on whether it's the same or not. But it does seem to be like quite structurally similar in in it. Um, Headshot is, of course, by Rita Bullwinkle. I think that's... Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what people have to say about Headshot. Uh, I've, you know, I've read it. I enjoyed it. It wasn't the best book I read, but I did enjoy it. I suspect that some of the comments and the commentary on it might just improve my reading experience of it. And uh, I, I'm really hopeful that that happens. James by Percival Everett. I mean, uh, obviously this has made the long list because obviously. And uh, well worth it. Um, I'm not going to tell you about it. You know about James. If you don't know about James, you're not into books at the moment. The Safe Keep by Yale van der Woden is one of the best books I have read this year. As to is James, by the way. That's the, This is sort of my two favourites in a row from this long list that I have read so far. There's, you know, I've read about half of it. Half of it or five and a DNF. So, I mean, that, that's pretty close to half. Um, yeah, The Safe Keep is just wonderful. And uh, I think it makes a lot of really cool commentary and it's very thought provoking and there is something that happens in it and I don't think that that is like like it's not really a plot twist it just really highlights the themes and it gets you thinking and it's just a book that is so much more complicated than racism or it's it's socially critical in a way that it's not it's not like criticizing critical it's analyzing critical and i just i i really love the thoughts that come out of this book it is just so cool um my friends by hishimata i've not read this one but this is getting such good reviews won the orwell prize so not surprised to see it here stoneyard devotional um well done australia it's been eight years since we last had somebody on the booker prize long list um what is it with these uk prizes rewarding our authors that we're not rewarding on our own prizes first restless dolly wanda makes the woman's prize but doesn't make the stellar prize and stoneyard devotional um i think stoneyard Devo did stoneyard devotional make it on the miles franklin i can't i think it might have actually but it didn't make it on the miles franklin shortlist anyway i don't think this is the best book to come out of australia and uh it's it's a good read, but I'm a bit surprised to see this one make the book a long list, I have to say. I'm a bit disappointed in this long list for a few reasons. Enlightenment is the only surprise for me here, and really, that shouldn't have been a surprise. Last year we got Pearl, and we got the All the Pretty Bird Hearts, and there were just so many books I'd not heard head nor tail about this just sort of feels like uh they've gotten the you know the the 30 or 40 biggest hits and just pulled straws to figure out which ones make the top 12 i'm really disappointed to see that my little rumor about a nigerian author that making it wasn't true i'm really disappointed to see jacozi obiyama miss out um i know a lot of people are going to be very disappointed to see praiseworthy by alexis wright miss out um, Alexis Wright doesn't really work for me and I've not, but I've not read Praiseworthy, so it's, it's possible that she could be doing something different, but it's not the big books that really concern me because I think there's enough big titles on this. There's a, there's enough big names on this. I was, I was just, I was really hoping for something left field and it's not there. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to the Rachel Kushner book, the most out of the books that I haven't read. Delighted to see the safe keep make it. Uh, you know, happy to see James make it. There's the potential for this to be a very good long list. And when we look at long lists with the eye of what's missing, we're always going to complain. There is no possible combination of 13 books where 
people are going to be happy. Especially when you consider that, you know, you might think that you can make 13 books, but how many eligible novels have you read? And I guarantee you it's not 160 that the judges have to pick from and then negotiate with four other people for. It does seem a very reflective, slower paced long list. And um, maybe that's just the books that I've come across that I've read on the long list. But I think that it's going to be one that uh, is going to be absolutely adored by a certain type of reader and absolutely hated by another type of reader and um i'm not sure if i'm that reader or not that reader (laughs) to be honest with all these long lists i think the proof is really in the reading i am going to read 12 of these books i'm not going to read the richard powers one because unless i can somehow get an arc of it which is very unlikely um and i'll be reviewing all of the book along list except for the richard powers book on this channel so if um if you want to hear some more coherent thoughts on it uh please make sure you subscribe i feel like it's a mixed bag this is a mixed bag Uh, i could i could focus on the positive or i could focus on the negative couldn't i and uh let's let's hope that by the end of this i'm focusing on the positive because there's so much more of it happy reading bye bye